This video is how to build a custom page template to display custom fields. Um, and to, as a quick recap of what we did before, we have a, um, a SharePoint site and we went ahead and added the two side columns and we created a, a custom content type. So I'm going to go into my site settings and go to side columns and in the um, custom columns you will see the two uh, columns that we added. So in the custom columns, we added the answer, which is a publishing HTML column, and then we added products, which is a lookup column. Um, and the next thing is we created the custom uh, content types uh, for the site. Um, and again, over here, it is the custom article page. That's what we called it. When we go in over here, uh, we added the two columns. Um, and if you look at the, um, uh, the previous video, or if you read through the article, um, you will see how exactly we want to go ahead and add these two. Um, so that's just a quick recap. Now, uh, in continuation, we are now going to go ahead and build um, the page layout and then um, edit the page layout um, using the HTML uh, and uh, Design Manager. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go now into Settings, go to Design Manager, um, and I'm going to go straight to 6, which is Edit Page Layouts, uh, Create a Page Layout, um, and in content type over here, you will see now the custom article page that we built. And for the sake of consistency, I'm just going to name it the same thing, which is custom article page. And uh, I'll leave the master page as it is. So I'll click OK. And by default, it is in draft. I see that the conversion status is successful. And I'll go ahead and publish a major version. Uh, you can put in a comment if you want. I'm going to leave it as it is, and I'll click OK. All right, so at this point, there's a couple of things which have happened. We've created our custom page layout, but if you go into um, site settings, if you go into the master page and page layouts, you will see that the two, which is the always the ASPX and the HTML, um, that shows up in the master page library. Uh, that's one thing. Also, if you go into site contents, um, and if you go into pages, and I'm creating a new page, you will now see that the custom article page shows up over here. So these are just ways to confirm that um, everything you've done is correct so far. So as a test, I'm going to go ahead and build a first test page. If I click outside, uh, the URL will automatically pick up the title. Um, I made sure that the custom article page is selected over here, and I'm going to go and create that. All right, so the page is built. As you can see, it picks up the layout that we wanted, um, and it is checked out to me. So I'm just going to go ahead and look at the properties. And in the properties, you will see that I have my answer, and I have the products. And the products is a lookup. So I can see uh, it shows me all the, uh, the lookup items over here. So in the properties, I see the... Um, the two columns over here. Um, however, if I actually go to the page, and I'm going to go to the page, and let's go ahead and edit that. If I go to the page and edit, I don't see my two columns over here. Um, so what I need to do now is I need to edit the actual HTML code um, and get the code snippets for the two columns that we added and add it to that HTML. Um, but SharePoint 2013 comes with Design Manager, which will provide you with code snippets for those two columns that you added. So that's the next step we're going to do. So let me just go ahead and um, check it in. Actually, okay, I can go ahead and, um, yeah, let's check it in. And publish that. All right, so the next thing is, let's go now to Design Manager. Uh, let's go back to Edit Page Layouts. And now just go ahead and click on the page. And it takes you to this page review uh, or for, to change the page review. Um, so let's keep it as it is. And now I'm going to go and click on snippets. Now in the snippets on the on the horizontal ribbon over here, uh, this is where the page fields are. Click on the drop down, and you will also see the two um, new columns that we've added. Now I do need to point out that these are the two columns we've added here because you added them to the uh, parent page content type. Now remember, we added a custom article um, uh, child content type as well, but if you just went and added these two columns to that child content type, 
they will not show up over here. You have to add them to the parent content type, which is the page content type. So I do want to call that out. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, let me just open up a quick notepad and keep that aside and because I need to copy these code snippets. So first thing else, I'll just type in a little uh, heading over here, which is article. And um, let's go and click on article. And it tells you that the um, component over here is answer. And I'm going to copy this snippet. And let me just put that over here. Because I'm going to need the snippet. And then the next one is products. Same thing over here. So let's go ahead and copy that. I'm just keeping this uh, available for me because I'm going to need that uh, very soon. All right. So we've got the code that we need. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and close that or close this one. Um, closing this tab, uh, this tab does not affect your page right now. Uh, so you can go ahead and do that. Uh, same thing over here in the change preview. It doesn't affect your page right now. So I'll just go go back. Um, and now what I need to do is go to site settings, go in the master page and page layouts. And I'm going to download the HTML section, not the ASPX, but just the HTML. So let me go over there, download a copy. Let me save that to my desktop. Yeah, that's fine. And let's come back away here. So on my desktop, I see that I have the custom article HTML page, and I'm opening that via Notepad. So the way I want to add the two codes is I'll find the existing um, page content um, snippet. So there is the page content snippet. Now I want to add the answer, or at least the product. I'm going to add that before this. And I want to add the answer after that. So the key thing for me is make sure that you have the diffs on the code um, identified. So for this snippet, this is the beginning and the end of that snippet. So I've already I have identified that. So let's go and put a little gap over here. Open up the other notepad and let's find the products. So here is the diff for that. I'm going to copy it. Come back to this HTML page. Let's paste it. So once again, the products is going to show up before the page content. Now, same thing is I'm going to add the answer after that. So I've gone ahead and found, I mean, gone to the end. Let's pick up this snippet. Paste. Um, all right, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and now save it. And go back to our master page library and I'll upload it. So once it uploads, it's going to overwrite it. Um, I'm going to leave all the settings as it is. Um, save it. Now, once it is saved, uh, since it's a new page, you have to go ahead and publish it. Uh, well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back to Design Manager and publish it over there. So edit page layouts. And the reason I did that is because I want to take a look at the status. The conversion was successful. If, say, your code did not work, it will actually give you errors over here and it defines the error too. So that's why um, I recommend that you come over here and then uh, go ahead and publish it because it does two things for you. It will go ahead and publish it, but it also gives you an idea if the conversion was successful. Um, so all right, everything's done over here. Um, now we can actually go and take a look at um, the page. So the new page that we've added, um, let's go ahead and click on it. So it's a blank page, um, nothing big, but if you go ahead and edit that now, you will see that before the page content, the product shows up. And then after the page is where you can go ahead and answer it. So put in the answer. So now not only does the property show up the new uh, side columns, but also it shows up in the page. So let's take it one. Let's go one step further and uh, do some more cleaning up on the page. Um, in the page itself, I don't want things such as um, the summary links or image caption and things like that. So I'm going to actually now go back to the page and um, 
do some more cleaning up. So that's we already have that HTML page um, on the on my desktop. I don't need this. I'm gonna delete that. So let's open this guy up again and find the things that we want to delete. So okay, I want to keep the title as it is, the title snippet. <clears throat> so uh, let's keep that. I do not want the page image. So I'm going to do first make sure that I've got the beginning and the ends of these snippets. And I do uh, the page image. All right, so I don't want that. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. <coughs> I do want the product. I do want the page content and the answer. Um, I don't want the summary. So let's find the exact um, snippet. That's the beginning and the end of the diff. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, article date yeah let's keep that image caption yeah I don't want that so again carefully find the snippet diffs over here and get rid of that all right so that looks good um, go ahead and save it go back to the gallery and upload that Okay, everything, keep it as it is. It is the content type, so let's save it. Again, like I said before, you can go ahead and publish it from here, but I'm gonna go back into Design Manager, uh, Page Layouts. All right, conversion is successful. So let's publish it. Okay, so let's actually go take a look at this page. All right, so it's blank, but if you edit it, all right, this this is looking a lot more like what I need. I need the products, I need the page content, and the um, answer. And you can, if you want, you can even go in and get rid of this. Uh, but the key thing is now the page is getting has has the the look and the feel that you want. Um, and you can put in information that you need and so on. But it's got the look and the feel that you need, um, and that's basically how you create your uh, page design. Uh, and, and you're not even physically typing in the HTML. You're getting all of that from Design Manager's code snippet. Um, but the key thing is um, the con the side columns and the content type, it has to be done with the root content types. Uh, and this is how you go ahead and add the HTML page. Thank you.